Hello, welcome back. Uh, this time we're doing the San Helen route from the uh, other end. I can't remember where this place is, but I'll put the name in the description. Um, it's basically the bit you didn't see the other day where I came down. It's quite like a hilly, muddy, rocky kind of section. So I'm gonna have a bash of that, see how we do, and then uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right then, so this way it goes off the main road and then it goes straight up the mountain. So we're gonna try and find that opening now. I hope this microphone works as well. I've been having issues. I don't know whether it's actually the lav mic, so like the connection, or whether it could be the um, the GoPro housing, the, the media mode. So there's that is a potential problem apparently. And then the other thing is, it could just not be selecting the, um, the correct audio once it's plugged in, so. It's all trial and error unfortunately and if I can't get anything out of this video I might sort of consider changing the setup. Obviously this is a good way to test it because it's quite windy now. Because uh, they're in about 50 mile an hour so not too bad. Boys in the boozers. Here it is, quite easy to spot because of the big sign. How helpful. Oh mate, it's slippery already, like. Low hanging foliage. So when I was coming up here, the other, oh sorry, coming down here, they bumped in some quad riders and they were saying how slippery these rocks are to be careful. And I could feel it actually when I was coming down, which is why I didn't put it into last week's video because of how slow it would have looked. I love those little barrier type things. But yeah, you can see that it's bouncy as hell. Oh, it's so muddy as well. So that you're gonna keep momentum because if you don't you're gonna lose traction and then you're gonna get stuck then you go too much you're gonna be bouncing all over the shop I love low hanging branches, not not. <laughs> Got my wrists working anyway, they're alive and awake now. Oh, all the clutch throttling and clutch throttling. All the clutching and the throttle. Oh, <laughs> it's bouncing, baby! Oh, a little bit of air. As I mentioned before on these places, then you just got to be careful because there are Land Rovers about. And a uh, long time ago, my dad, uh, he had a bit of a tangle with a Land Rover. So uh, I don't want to follow in his footsteps and do that. Look at this view. It's quite nice, isn't it? You know? I keep banging on about the views. It's just... It's funny to think that people around the area have probably never been up this high. Oh, 
steep, man. <laughs> you can see how these hard enduro boys are so like fit and everything. Obviously they got technique and some have probably got recluse clutches but you know you kinda need it for that. My left hand now where that clutch has just been working for well when I've been working the clutch rather is is Oh, it's tight now like so I'm gonna have a nice cruise along this bit no point pinning it Oy. oh that Land Rovers <laughs> oh jeez how's it going you alright? Having a good day? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Get it yeah, exactly. Not long now, man. <laughs> Are you doing very all right? Yeah, good, man. <laughs> all right. Probably cool. I should see what they can do with those things, they're amazing. It's class like. I think I'm a mug actually having to fight my bike all the time. Leaving those things do their thing mechanically is pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's bouncy. Yeah, this foliage is overgrown like hell. I read on uh, somebody's comments on the the, the uh, glass page the other day saying that they uh, cut away some bits that were deemed unsafe, which I thought was really good of them. Oh man, like I thought I was going to lose it all then, and then I would have been. Rubbish starting out again. Oh. Oh. Now I do like standing up on this bike, but I done the Mick X stance enduro school thing, and he kept drumming it into people to like when you're on obstacles, sit down, let the bike do the work and then keep yourself stable with your feet uh, because obviously he's a Dakar rider and when you're in a Dakar everything counts you know so the moment you drop your bike you're wasting time then picking your bike up which you don't want to be wasting you know and although I'm not against the clock I just don't want to drop my bloody bike you know
these 300s are mental you only have to blip the throttle and they just go like I'm really dubious of these pedals now after the other day where I whapped the stone and it just sent me sent me off like Whoa. The good thing is I can feel my confidence coming back now with this bike. It's taking this while, but oh, <laughs> I'm not so scared when that kind of stuff happens, you know what I mean? Or the wheel starts to lift up. It's not like making me want to shut off and like plant my feet or anything. I'm happy to let it ride out. Oh. Oh, somebody's made a little little track look so the little bit of a uh, downhilly stuff using their gears using their engine to slow them down no good for us dirt bikers mind but how nice of somebody to do that just trying to figure out now which way you gotta go oh yes this way because of that Making sure the camera's clean when it puddles. Man, like... It just spins. Spins up underneath you like a little beast. Uh-oh. Uh, I did not see that until like last minute, so I had no... I was in a low gear. It didn't... If I did it faster, it would not have helped. I would have just nosedive because I didn't have enough beans to get the power going to lift that front wheel up. Oh, here we are, bouncy, bouncy again. Huh? Slowly, slowly, catching monkey through those things. There's a place in Elam Valley. I absolutely tank through them. And when I think back about the first time I did it, I kind of... <laughs> it kind of scares me because I didn't slow down. I hit it, the water just went up and over me. And uh, it could have been big stones in there, which would have sent me flying. And I wasn't going slow, not as slow as I go these days. <laughs> Silly sausage, eh? Another thing is, if you do go into a big puddle and you find you slow down a lot, just get them wheels spinning or get that wheel spinning. Because the moment you don't, you're stuck. The moment you don't, so the moment you stop, you are stuck like that's you, uh, you and your mates pulling a bike out. So you got to carry momentum. Oh, so bouncy. The wristicles, man, they are like hurting a bit. My wrists are burning like mad now. Look at these little stones in your look. See that? You don't want to be whacking at you. You think, oh yeah, I'll just pin it. And then you end up upside down on your head. Oh, look at this steepness.
Yeah, yeah boy, nailed it. Oi, oi, seven, oi. See? It didn't like it actually, that steep bit. I could feel the wheel slip because it, it was a little bit of a wet patch. And then um, as it was coming up, because it, it sort of had a bit of power, the front wheel lifted. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, boy, this is fun. Another kind of stuff that you can whap at speed, you gotta take it slowly and comfortably. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is horrible. This was so much better coming down the other day. I thought, oh, that'll be fun to go up. It's not like. <laughs> oh my god. And this is the right gear as well, because anything more, and it'd be slipping and spinning and throwing you everywhere. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this is honking. Arm pump. Oh, my God. Feel the burn. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh. No, I'm not going right, that's for sure. Oh. Me and Ruts, we're dying out. Oh, flimmin' heck. Our days are over. <laughs> that is deep leg. Oh, my wrists, mate. That just spun up. My hands are like dead, they just gotta leave them go open. Sorry, so slow. Oh, flimmin' neck. Oh, that's my mate, look. This is where I got struck the other day. Right then, so we're going through this now. You want to see how deep this is? Oh my flaming god! <laughs> oh my god! Look at that! That was, that was up over the wheels! Look at the sprocket and everything! Oh man! What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the drone to follow me up there. I've <laughs> been having some fun with that lately as well. Not in a good way either. Bloody thing. The drone's been good. It's the batteries. They've been not charging up to the full... Full... Uh, the full amount. The full charge. I'm wrecked. When your brain is like needs oxygen and a rest. It uh, does funny things too. What I'll do, I'll leave you to it and I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, and that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. I've had a pretty good day today. And over the next coming weeks, I'm gonna be making some changes, see how things adjust and see how much more I learn. But um, if you stay with me for the journey, I really appreciate it. Uh, drop us some comments below if you wanna have a bit of a chat. Let me know where you're all from. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.